Hi Capricorn! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekday reading, Monday to Thursday. This is, I think, for the August 28th to the 31st, okay? This is for you and the other person. It is a general read, sun, moon, rising. We all know the drill, right? Apply to either or situation. I'll still see the zodiac. Oh my god, how? I hope people would know that already by now. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, this is you and the other person. We're gonna have extended reading, more of the central issue, and their blockages. Okay. Here we go. Here we go for the Capricorns. You have your ooh can be connecting with an air sign. Okay, Knight, uh, King of Swords over here. This energy comes because you you're approaching the situation on a one. I have to say it's a, a, on a good note, like because it's being thought of as a whole and not something that is just you know about feelings or about just how you feel it's like it's a, it's a bigger understanding you're having a bigger understanding of what you are or what you're facing basically okay eight of pentacles over here so what you're facing you know that it requires time you know it requires patience because this is you know this being patient doing the hard work putting in the time eight of pentacles and pentacles is very very good when you do a love reading because it's about putting in the effort so you see that by putting in effort over here they can there can be progress gradual though it can never be rushed it's through you know you know this is like masonry where like you know like it has to be chiseled perfect you know not perfection but the right way to get to the next level okay their goal because eight you know representing also can be you know your life cycle basically you know infinity let me see here <laughs> and you have here four of pentacles see you're practicing control okay because you know that if you just just jump the gun you know there's always something happens when you jump the gun. I mean, we can all jump the gun every time. But here, you're pack these are all patients. Four of Pentacles is sitting on it and thinking. Um, you know, this person is sitting on the cube of life, basically. So you're understanding that, you know, life itself can't be rushed. And you can only give as much as you can. That is also, you know, that's why they call this the, the, you know, the greedy card. But you only extend what you have extra, which is what's good with the Four of Pentacles. Um, meaning you're practicing um, um, self-love or self-care. Where it's like, well, if I have extra, I will give this to this person. And or if my effort is like this, this is how much I can give only. So you're not a person who just go all the way. It's like, you know what, I love you, I care about you. It's like, I'll give you my whole life. No, that's codependent when you're trying to do like that. Let's see here and you have your ace of wands very good okay the ace of wands is the energy of the desire the passion sex intimacy but from what i'm seeing here i think it's even the person who's giving you this new beginning like they're the ones offering this towards you a new beginning the ace of wands is in a, in a vast desert the vast desert reflective of how can, how much it can grow Okay, it can grow to a forest, basically, this one, right? So this rods over here has the tendency to be very, very fruitful. It depending on how much you put an effort in, okay? And the other person, they have the world card. Wow, that's good, Capricorn. Especially that you're Saturn ruled. So this is now coming into life. This is coming into completion, as we all heard. But the, from what I'm seeing here, the world card, one, can be related to travel, can be related that you guys are geographically not connected. But from what I'm seeing here is that they finally are on board with you. This is the yes. It's like, you know what? This person has thought about how everything, you just thought about everything already for this person, and they agree with it, basically. They're agreeing with your vision. They're agreeing how to proceed. That's what I'm seeing here with the, with the, oh, <laughs> The Sun card and the World card both, you know, can be a Leo also, but they feel so positive about this energy. Happy. They bring happiness towards you. They bring joy towards you. Completion with happiness in the same direction. The baby and the horse goes in purity. That is like going in the same path, going in the same direction. A new beginning comes to this person. This is how they see towards you. This is how they are. You see here. And you have here. Wow. That's good. Queen of Wands over here. The desire, the connection, the passion is there. Okay, this this person one you know because I always see the queen as someone who is the queen represents for me always about a strong you know beauty you know all the queens they're all about you know they because they resonate that energy like you just want to look at them and then that's what I'm seeing here. It's like you just want to look at this person. <laughs> you see here. 
And you have here, hmm, interesting, Five of Cups and this energy. So this Five of Cups over here, because they don't see the connection, but they have clarity over it already. So from what I'm seeing here, and when they offer, okay, this energy, they're looking for something emotional. So if you're offering something that is, you know, passion, desire, and sexual, they want you to go deeper, okay, or else they won't see it. They're just going to be looking at the Three of Cups that is in the past energy. So it's like it's hindering them. This is, yes, this is a blockage. I'm not bullshitting you. This is a conflict of how they see relationship. So they have a conflict on that. But it's very, very, like, you can even forget about, you know, that energy because you have the Sun card. The conflict here, okay, is just, it's it's even like from what I'm seeing because the, the crowning energy is the World card. It's like this is what has been already. Like they were before, okay, they were before, not seeing the connection, but they have enlightenment already. The sun card is here. The world card is here. They have completed that cycle. Okay. Let me see the central issue. There we go. Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, communication that is real. No built, you know, no BS. That's a central issue. When you share communication with this person and when they reply towards you or when you guys interact, it's always about the truth. Nobody's playing games. Nobody is is like, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna, you know, manipul I'm, I'm gonna manipulate the situation where I'm not gonna reply or I'm not gonna talk until they, you know, they have been begging for my attention. No. From what I'm seeing here, this person reciprocates. This person, you know, ask them, they tell you. You know, but of course, the truth can be hurting sometimes. But I don't see it something that hurting. It's something that always clarifies the issue. And I think it was used during the Five of Cups over here. That they want something soulful. They want something that is real and not just carnal. Because it can be like this is very strong carnal energy. Because they, one, they're good looking. So you have a tendency, of course, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm just so attracted to this person in that desire. But they want something soulful besides the sex. Okay? So... Capricorns, I'm going to look into more of the central issue and then their blockages. Thank you very much for watching your weekday. I'll see you on the weekends too. Bye!